Hey guys! Gosh! <laughs> Abiola, be serious. <laughs> hey guys, it's so nice to be filming again. Welcome back to another webisode and today I'm just going to be talking about my one year experience so far and I'm just really thankful that um, I'm back to filming because I've had so many people reach out to me in person over like texts or calls Hey Viola, how far? Even my students, oh my gosh, they call me Auntie Viola. <laughs> Auntie Viola, we're yet to see another video from you. Your videos are so interesting. Why haven't you posted anything? So I really love them. So Leah, this is for you. Elizabeth, Tinu. Gosh, I'm going to miss you guys so much. So what have I been up to? Gosh, I actually say gosh a lot. But yeah. So the past one year was really tough for me. I think this has been like my toughest year so far on this planet Earth. I mean, I turned 26 in January and um, I struggled with depression. I struggled with my faith in this past one year. I struggled with um, a lot of things, to be honest. There are like a couple of things that helped me through that period, um, one of which was my vision board, um, my next video I'll be giving like a vision board update. Um, my mentor, I got myself like, actually not, I don't want to say I got myself a mentor. Like, God laid it upon my heart because before now, I never really cared about that or like, having someone who I speak to, I hate sharing and stuff. So, I, I mean, aside from my videos, I, I wouldn't go see, talk to someone who isn't my dad. Uh, so yeah. Um, the Holy Spirit laid it on my heart to get a mentor and he directed me to someone and I asked her, Hi, would you mind being my mentor? And gosh, she's so awesome, she's amazing. I really love her. Pastor Colette, like if you follow me on, on Facebook or uh, if you're on my WhatsApp, I always post pictures of her. I love her so much and she she's helped me have a mind shift. So she was one of she's one of the people that have has helped me um have this mind shift. So this past one year, being able to get over like being depressed or struggling with my faith because I did struggle with my faith at some point based on things that were happening with me at work and um, like from people I looked up to and it was just really sad to or maybe I was disappointed to based on things that happened so yeah um, and also teaching um, so I volunteered to teach Promise Kids Bible Club it's a um, Bible program for um, children at church and uh, I, I thought at fifth to sixth graders and um, I learned from them it was it was a really good experience so for the last couple of months like for seven we started in November and they graduated in June and I feel sad because I'm going to miss them and I was I, I learned from them I mean so that was like one of the other things because each month we had like a specific topic so if it's integrity or Esther or friendship Joseph personal evangelism um, um, making right choices so there was always something to learn and then the guide like the study guide because I had to study in advance for the class and then I had this really amazing um, co-sponsor her name is Renee we talked together and there was so much to learn I mean she's full of ideas and yeah, it was, it was a really good experience. I feel like I'm just happy all in all. <laughs> but yeah, what else did I get up to? So I tried to go out more. I tried to um, reach out to my friends or be a better friend and speak to people more often, check on them. Um, yeah, so I did go out like the last couple of weeks. I've gone out more, so I'm going to put up what I've been up to. But yeah, I just really want to thank God that he brought me here and in as much as it was a big move for me, I mean, I'd been used to being on my own even back in Nigeria because I, I lived in Anambra for a couple of years. Being in the choir is is one of the other things that did get me through because I look forward to the song we will be singing. I look forward to learning it. Just I mean, being in that group, like on my own, whatever team I was on, um, the songs because I'm not really I I really want to grow my prayer life, but I would rather spend time worshiping and praising and like if, I, if i'm supposed to pray for a long period of time if i'm not praying with a group of people i get really tired and like i just get so oh my god 
much what else am I praying about or what am I saying right now but yeah so um so the choir helped me the my students helped me my mentor helped me um prayer line so what I also did was I joined um um a daily prayer line that from five till six o'clock every morning like three six five days so the whole no i didn't start like immediately i got here i think i started maybe about two three months ago yeah there about maybe four months ago because i was really struggling and there was nothing else there was not really i just really needed to be out of the face i was in i didn't want to just slide in and not not just do anything just wake up go to work because i'm trying to and or make a living to pay my bills send money to my brother or, or whoever needed help at the time I, I wanted to do more than that and i mean i feel like there's more to life really than just going to work because you need to pay your bills so so yeah the prayer line helped me because at some point it was even feeling like god where are you are you really answering my prayer are you listening to this am i just here joining these people in the morning to pray but I started seeing answers to my prayer like I think three three weeks or a month after and I almost did give up. I well I really I really want to thank God that that happened. Like I I joined like I would wake up. I I'm not a morning person but I would wake up to join like I struggle with my alarm like when it goes up I oh, gosh that alone is, is war but I thank God that I was able to do that. So the past one year has really been tough. It has been my toughest year so far, to be honest. Like I struggled with things internally, not even yeah, like things internally, and I think that that's like the worst. So for anybody watching this, like I've been able to grow and have this mind shift because I had a mentor who who never who didn't judge me. Like she was very honest and she would share her own stories and stuff. So I had a mentor. I was I I volunteered at something. So I was. I was making impact or I was giving back but as I was going through that process I was also learning from the kids as well I joined um, the prayer line um, I joined the choir so there was something that was always feeding my faith I, I mean I also still listen to like podcasts and always try to read my devotional all day there although there are some days when I wouldn't even remember everything that or I would remember, like half the day is gone and then I don't even remember what I read that morning but the fact that I was still trying to at least not just push God away or stay away from building my inner man or my spirit man. But yeah, it was a tough year, but I thank God for this few things. So I ask you guys, I urge you to, I mean, yeah, I did talk to my dad as well. My dad is like my favorite person. So my dad, my mentor, and the Holy Spirit. So I, and I would urge any of you, if you're going through anything internally, because I feel like, we all struggle like one way or another like things might even be going fine for you right now but you don't know what might happen in a couple of weeks not like i'm wishing you bad but yeah so just have that support system have people that you draw strength from and try to have a mind shift like that's that's like the main thing my mentor did for me because i like there's so many testimonies that i'll share over the couple over the next couple of weeks and things i learned from her to be honest because I feel like you guys need to know these things too and for those of you who um i don't know might not have i don't know I, I really pray that you would take out time to just sit back and see the things you can give yourself to and just intentionally want like intentionally do things that would help you slide out of depression or not giving to the battles that you're fighting internally so that's all i have for you guys today so next week i'll be giving my vision board update and a couple of things i've gotten up to and i don't know that's the spirit needs to be honest but thank you guys for watching this video gosh i'm so excited about my hair um i'll be braiding it finally i haven't done cornrows like a proper cornrow like i mean just the ones that i really need to but braided cornrows if that makes any sense i'll be doing that tomorrow so really forward to that so thanks for watching this video please leave a comment like share subscribe you don't know who might need some of these things i've shared today and if you have gone through so, like internal battles and um you can also share how you were able to come up from that so till next week grace and peace Oh, shit.
しかしかしかし。